Hello folks, it's your old buddy Gerald here from Buzzsprout.com. Um <laughs> I uh I got a guitar in. Um uh, now don't laugh, that's my job. Um I uh <laughs> it's so it's different, okay? Um uh, we're looking at now this is a really different guitar folks uh, <laughs> but it's cool it's really it's it's really not bad guitar you know we're looking at the Austin Bazaar yes this is a tiny mother check this out dudes oh my god Gerald is that it that's it see the body is not even big it's not even huge not like a real full strat guitar I got that because they didn't say what size it was. Hey, for $50, I said, well, what the heck, I'll try it. So, yes, as you can see, it's got one single coil. That's how small this guitar is, folks. Oh, my God, Gerald, why'd you get a piece of junk like that? I don't know. It just, like Scott Grove, it just jumped out at me and said, grab me. So, I did. But... It's cool, folks. I can take this on stage and play it, man. Um, so this thing is in dire need of some care. Some really care. Um, this has got the old crappy strings on it. Just like the, uh, just like the back, just like your Hawaiian backpackers. Um, and I don't think there's a truss rod in here either. Um, because, yes, and the nut is going to be fixed. This is going to be my project guitar. So Scott, my man, I got a project guitar. Am I going to put some? Am I going to put another pickup in it? Um, I don't know. I might. Um, I might put a. Uh, if, of course, as you can see, it doesn't have a screw right here for the pick guard, for the pick to go. You know, a screw for the. Uh, oh shoot, for the pickup, and I think I might put a white pick guard, a white color color on it. And as you can see, the knob, it's loose. The nut in there needs to be tightened. But it actually works. You got a hard tail. You got a top loader, so it'll never go out of tune. Um, the key tuners suck. They are going to be replaced. I have a Strat. I have another guitar that's going to have these. That's going to have these uh, guitar tuners. Hopefully, if they work. Um, so. Yep, it's just like the it's just like the one that I got with my uh Hawaiian acoustic guitar thing that you guys have seen. Okay? A little bitty four bolt bolt neck. And I'll plug it up here for you. Of course it doesn't have a strap button right here, so I'm gonna have to put a strap button on it. Obviously elixir polywebs because these are the listen to this when I play it. Okay, so I mean I can go up a whole, almost a whole dang octave, but it actually, it doesn't sound bad at all, you know, it really doesn't, folks. This thing sounds, actually sounds pretty good. Um, well, that's not good. The, uh, <laughs> looks like the jack come out. Well, I mean the jack didn't come out, but, well, I'm going, the, uh, Looks like I'm going to have to go in there and fix the jack. Well, that's not supposed to happen. So, yep, I'm going to have to pull the jack. And, so, well, that just happened. Look at this. It's got a hole right there. But the jack is there. This guitar, actually, this guitar works, folks, because I tried it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this off. And I'm going to make a, a video of me doing this. I'm going to make a video of this because I've got a lot of pieces. I can fix that jack. The, the, the jack, the nut is gone. Somebody took that off. Well, I've got one of those. I'm going to put another white pick. I'm going to put a white strap, a white strap cover on it. Okay. So, hopefully that's all that is. Um, <laughs> uh, so... But I have another jack in case if I if I have to if I have to do that. But the nut is just held on there with imagination. 
This guitar is it the frets are rusty, so like I said, we're gonna take I'm gonna spend a good long video of uh of how we I was gonna let you guys hear this guitar, but I can't get the uh the I didn't know that the, the cord just fell out of there like nothing. But it sound but it but there's no tone or nothing. That's right, that's what I told you. So so no mm -mm. I'm trying to see if I can find the jack to plug it in and let you guys hear it. But anyway, I have heard it. It don't sound bad. So, <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna get started on this thing. We're gonna take the strings off. We got some elixir polywebs. Um, so if the neck warps, your sol. But whatever. Um, as you can see, the knob. Just a piece of crap knob. I'm gonna replace that with a metal knob. Of course, as you can see, the nut has come off. It's loose. The bridge, it's a nice that's a nice bridge. That's a heck of a nice bridge right there. So top loader, one strap button, it's loose. The key tuners, like I said, are junk, but it is what it is for, for $60. Um, I thought it would be like a full size, but this is cool. Yeah, the pickup is kind of right in the middle, so it's not all the way back here by the bridge, you know, where it's going to get. Uh, yes, I had to reformat the iPad again. I had to start over. I can't delete data. When it's on there, I can't get rid of it. I have to restore the iPad. So somebody help me out. How do I do it? I'm a dumb, I'm a dumb mother. So the pickup is not to the bridge so it's not going to be too harsh sounding and it's kind of like almost in the middle but it act, but it really sounds good too so a little bitty cool little Austin Austin Bazaar um, it's going to be a cool little project guitar hear that these are the really crappy thin and of course it's missing the second string so some somebody and this guitar is going to need I'm going to we're going to fix the frets because the frets are rusted to beat hell and everything you got a little bit some mojo um so yeah go figure and right there's your cavity control so that's it folks <laughs> I just wanted to show you this and let you guys see what kind of stuff you can buy on eBay this right here is a creative guitar um George, you're dang near like Scott Grove, ain't you? Yes, I am, by George. Um, I'm thinking about, because there's not no finish on the neck, I'm thinking about sanding this neck down a little bit more, because this neck, this is actually a really nice neck. It's kind of meaty, you know, for a little bitty small guitar. But my telly neck is the best neck you'll ever feel in your ever life. So, I'm wanting to say that the truss rod adjustment is down here. So, we're going to have to... Uh, that's just like the bridge on the uh, PV Predators. Dang near just like it. And I'm we and I might go with some with some more saddles, with some different saddles. I'm not sure. Uh, but this thing, yep, it's it's a pile <laughs> for now. But when I get done with it, it'll be a good looking guitar. Um, like I said, put a white pickup cover there, a metal knob. In fact. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about here. If I can get to my closet. I'm trying to clean up my room here a little bit today. Look like a tornado tore through it because guitars and everything and bull crap. Um, well, I thought I had a knob. Aha. See this right here? It'll go, ain't that going to look, ain't that going to look groovy? See, check it out, dudes. Put it on there. It'll fit. See? Right away it already looks better. But we got to get in there and investigate. And do some stuff. Because that jack is loose. So. But, like I said, I've got some stuff to do to it. We're going to do this. I don't know if I'm going to do a big old long video or not. Um, I should because so you guys can just hang out here with me. This knob right here is going to go in the trash. I don't care if these plastic knobs on the guitar. If it's something like. Because, see, look. It, it's easily to come off. It's a brand new knob. So someone's foolishness. 
Uh, so there it is, folks. The Austin Bazaar guitar. Um, the first look of it. I might do a video of it. I might not. I'm not sure yet. Uh, just depends on how I feel. I sent Scott an email about showing him, showing showing us how to do the uh, strap, how to do your his uh, new flying V, his groove V V. Okay, so the groove and then the big V. So. But there it is, folks. You guys let me know what you think about this little dude, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Your old buddy Gerald here from buzzsprout.com. I'm going to go in there and eat me a big old bowl of some homemade Texas chili that I made. So you guys take care. Bye-bye, folks. And I'll, I'll think about whether to do this video. It depends on if you want me to. And I'll take you to the Rams and everything. And I'll hook the jack in, and we're going to take this off. But I'm excited about it. So you guys take care. Bye-bye, folks. And have a groovy evening. Your old buddy Gerald. <laughs>